what's going on people bear fox here and welcome back to another brand new video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix all your lags stutter and fps issues in overwatch 2 i'm going to cover a lot of settings in this video so make sure to watch till the end also don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below so i'm going to be replying to each one of you individually and with all that said let's roll the intro all right first things first is creating a restore point and to do that simply click on create a restore point and then over here in system protection look up for your local list c then click on create and name it OW2 or for Overwatch 2. Then simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys do not skip this part because if anything goes wrong on your computer, you can always restore everything back. Once it's done, simply click on close and then close system properties. Now, one of the most important steps is the NVIDIA control panel. And to do that, simply right click on your desktop space, show more options, and then open NVIDIA control panel. Now, once you are in here, go to 3D settings and make sure to use advanced 3D image settings. Then click on manage 3D settings and follow my settings over here. Image scaling off, ambient occlusion off, and follow the rest of the same things over here. You can skip ahead for DSR factors, it's not really needed. Right, once you are done applying all of these settings, go to configure surround physics and then use your processor as your installed GPU. Then on the way down to adjust video and color settings, over here click on with NVIDIA settings, go to advanced and make sure that your dynamic range is set to full. In most of the monitors, it's by default set to limited, so I highly recommend you guys to go with full. Then go to adjust desktop color settings and then on your primary desktop I highly recommend you guys to set your digital vibrance to between 60 to 70 as it is going to give you a lot of color boost allowing you to see the enemies correctly. Once you're done with these settings, close the NVIDIA control panel, simply press Control, shift and escape all together and open up task manager. Then go to startup applications and over here make sure to disable all of the unwanted startup application that you do not want to be enabled while your PC boots up. This is going to save a lot of memory on your computer. Once it is done, simply close the task manager and then let's move to the third step, that is the graphics setting. And for that, simply look up for graphics settings over here and once you are in here, simply go and add browse and then go to the installation location for Overwatch 2. Then simply add Overwatch Launcher and once it's in here, simply go to Options and then click High Performance, hit Save. Also for the Overwatch application, click on Options and then go with High Performance and hit Save. Then look up for Game Mode. Now turn on Game Mode because this is going to make sure that none of the applications are running or consuming RAM in the background allowing you to get much faster performance while gaming. Once you're done with that, simply download the Overwatch 2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Once you've downloaded and extracted it, open up the first folder, which is the Overwatch Priority. In here, you will find High Priority and Medium Priority Registry. So run the High Priority Registry uh, if you have a high-end computer. If you have a medium-end computer, you can go with the Medium Priority. Then open up the second folder which is the windows optimization and over here you have to right click show more and merge all of these in your computer they all disable unwanted services on your computer allowing it to work much faster if you have any doubts you can open it up by clicking on edit and see what are the settings that these are going to change once you have confirmed, you can run all of them on your computer and that's going to allow the best performance possible by your PC. Then on the game optimizations, you have to run all of these over here once again. This is going to boost your system responsiveness, allow your CPU to be optimized, then disable GPU energy drivers so that your GPU will perform much better and increase the power efficiency so that your computer does not run out of power that often results to reduction of micro stutters and that little sticking effect in the game. Once it's done, you have to open up the programs folder and in here you will find MSI mode utility v3. Simply right click and run this as administrator. Once you are in here, you're looking for your graphics card and then from undefined, go and select high, click on apply and then close this. 
Nextly is timer resolution and we all know about it. Just simply open it up, click on maximum and then close it. This is going to fix all of your input delay issues. Then go back and lastly is the ultimate performance power plan. Simply copy the string over here and then open up CMD, run this as administrator. And once you are over here, simply paste the string, press enter. I've already done it for myself, so I'm not going to do that. Simply open up control panel and over here, search for power. Then go to power options and make sure that you select ultimate performance from the hidden additional plan list. Once you're done with that, close the power options. Now once again, if you are suffering from any network issues, I highly recommend you guys to use exit lag. Exit lag is free to use for 3 days, you can download it from the link in the description below. Once you have downloaded and opened the app up, you will see the application interface which is really simple. On the left side, you will find a list to over 250 games to choose from, you can simply search over watch two from this list and then add the game region for yourself for me it is asia and then you can simply click on user routes within my country first then click on these advanced routes and then the routes udp set it to four and then click on apply then simply click on apply routes and there it should be added the best part of this application is that it offers you a fps boost section that is dedicated to fix all of these problems in your computer select the first third fourth and the second last option that will give you the best fps possible and if exit lag works best for you you can go and get a subscription for exit lag once again if you want to get a subscription for exit lag you will find monthly semi-annual or quarterly package over here but if you use code bearfox20 on your first purchase you will get a flat 20 percent off so choose wisely now once again go into the game all right, once you are in game, press your escape key and then go to options. Over here, you will find the video settings and in the video settings, make sure to go with full screen on monitor one. Then your resolution should be the base resolution of your monitor and make sure that you select the highest refresh rate. As you guys can see for 1920 by 1080, I can see 50, 60, 120, 144 and 240. So for my refresh rate, 240 is the maximum that I can go for. Then for the FOV, I highly recommend you guys to keep it all the way to the up so you can get more competitive advantage. Uh, aspect ratio is a personal choice if you have a 16 is to 10 monitor or a 16 is to 9 monitor so you have to look out for yourself uh, dynamic render scale i highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off because it's not really needed then for the render scale uh, go with automatic frame rate custom and slide it all the way to the maximum then vsync should be turned off as this is really crucial at changing your frame rates triple buffering should be turned off as it will allow you to reduce input delay then make sure to turn on reduce buffering as this is going to allow you to run the game much better and video reflex i go for enable plus boost but try running the game at disable and enable and enable plus boost note which uh, is giving you the best performance for some disable works the best for some enable plus boost works best then all of these i do not recommend sliding any of these unless you want to change anything according to you then go to the graphic settings panel and over here set it all the way to low except the texture quality go with medium and yep that is going to give you the maximum fps possible once again high works best for me but if medium works best for you you can go with medium also for local fog detail and everything other than that make sure that it is set to low and yep once you're done with that simply press y and now go to the sound section and over here uh, master volume set it to 100 and music volume i prefer setting it to low because the music is kinda itchy yeah so these are my sound settings playback device should be your speakers special audio that is the system settings or you can go with dolby atmos for headphones if you have dolby atmos enabled on your motherboard then for the audio mix go with headphones if you're playing on headphones and then uh, go to voice chat and these are all personal preferences once it is done simply press back back and now you are good to play the game so guys i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out